Hello there my purple banditos and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we obtained our first badge from Violet City's gym leader Faulkner. In today's episode we are going to head out of Violet City and attempt to make our way to the next town. So let's go ahead and check out the map. It looks like Ecruteague City is going to be coming up as well as Goldenrod City. There are a lot of different towns that we can travel to from what you guys have told me. Once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. They're much appreciated. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps the series. Who is this? Elf, I I'm sorry about that. I must have been so excited about catching a pseudo Wudo. I forgot to look where I was going. Looks like we're going to have a battle. I'm sorry I forgot to properly introduce myself. My name is Lars, and I'm a researcher at the legendary Pokemon Research Lab. You ought to swing by sometime. I'll be waiting. So that's Lars. Let's go ahead and actually make our way inside of there then, because it looks like he might have some information that's going to be worthwhile. I'm also going to go ahead and give Chompy that speech to share. Chompy's a little bit behind because we've been training up everybody else, but I'm sure Chompy will be able to catch up with the following battles and everything that's coming up. Let's talk to Lars, though. Ah, good, you came! Let me formally introduce myself. My name is Lars, and I do my best to track the whereabouts of legendary Pokémon. I'm actually the leading expert on the Eon duo, Latios and Latios. They're never in one place, so I listen to reports of their whereabouts. If you ever want to know where they are, I can probably tell you. I've received reports that Latios has been seen near Palm Tree Resort. So it looks like Latius is actually near Palm Tree Resort. But for now, I don't think we need to do much legendary hunting. Now, I know this path will take us down to Goldenrod City. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the other path, which I'm hoping will take us to Ecruteague. And yes, this is definitely the Ecruteague path. We're going to have a battle. Okay, let's keep on moving. We are probably going to have to battle this guy as well. I'm going to go ahead and put Chompy up in front though, just so Chompy catches up on a bit of XP, and let's talk to him. Once in a while, I make a good call. Let's go ahead and take her on. Also, I hope that you guys are having a great Saturday. I've been having a pretty great week. This is going to be my last week in El Salvador. And then I head back to Chicago to hang out with the guys, you know, get back into the swing of things. But who is this? Oh, I remember you. You were that child at Sprout Tower. Come with me. I'd like to show you something. Okay, so it looks like Pius is here, and if you guys remember, he was the guy talking to Lee at the top of Sprout Tower, so we have met him before, and he was also part of that Alpha organization, if I remember. This is the Brass Tower, but the people who Ukutrik restored it recently, I often come here to reflect on society. Tell me, do you believe humans should be able to catch legendary Pokemon? And I'll go ahead and say yes, because we have caught a bunch before. I see the church I come from believes that legendary Pokemon should never be under human's control. I've heard a band of thugs called Team Fusion have stolen the Volcano Orb from the ruins of Alf. This concerns me because it means they wish to capture Entei. The Church of Alpha will do what we can to fight these crooks. If you hear anything about Team Fusion, feel free to contact me in Whitewood City. Knocked out, will use Fly. Speaking of Fly, we really need to find a flying type around here. But let's continue to look around. As I was saying, I hope that you guys are having a great Saturday. I'm actually having a really good one. I have a lot of awesome stuff to watch today. I have the LCS. The playoffs are on. That's the League of Legends, like, professional league. So that's going to be on. And then also, if you're a big soccer fan, you know that today is going to be El Clasico between Real Madrid and Barcelona. I'm personally a Barcelona fan, so I'll be rooting them on. And I'm excited to actually watch that with my family. It's going to be a lot of fun. My grandma actually roots for Real Madrid, so it'll be good to have that going. You know, there's a little bit of rivalry there, and I'm excited just to see how it goes, and we'll we'll hope for the best there. Now that we're here in Ecruteague, by the way, we... Uh, ooh, who's this? And that should do it. Oh, hello, my name is Bill. Sorry to make you wait. I was just putting the finishing touches on my teleportation system. This system will make it very easy to go from town to town. When you enter a new town, simply register it by swiping your trainer card. So if you guys remember, we have seen these weird telephone looking boots around and it turns out that it's actually a teleportation system. So that's really, really cool. We can definitely use that 
because I believe we can't fly around in Johto quite yet or even possibly I know that we can fly back to the donut region but we can't really you know travel around this area too much so that's something that we're gonna have to learn to do we're gonna have to fix the teleportation systems and see what exactly there is now this is my jam this place seems to be rocking out now these are the kimono sisters and let's go ahead and take on Zuki welcome to our dance hall would you care for a battle Wow, that Umbreon was actually really hard to take down. I'm going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up our team. That was the only one of the Eevees that I actually expected to have a really, really tough time against. Maybe Vaporeon as well, because Vaporeon is pretty tough. It's pretty tanky. But other than the Umbreon, I think we'll be okay going up against the Kimono Sisters. It's kind of cool being back here to an area I haven't explored in so long. And seeing that although some things have changed, not everything has. Welcome to our dance hall! Would you care for a battle? Super easy for Yami there! Welcome to our dance hall! Would you care for a battle? Alright, so now we're down to a 50-50. We can put RSP up front or Zuko Jr. I'm gonna go ahead and put RSP and hope that this is the Vaporeon. Welcome to our dance hall. What you get for a battle? Okay, so... Welcome to our dance hall. What you get for a battle? Oh, I remember Cooney. I remember this one. Okay, there we have it. I would enjoy another battle another day. Thanks, Kune. I still remember Kuni from back in the day, so some things never change. Oh, wow, you defeated all five Kimoto girls. You must be very strong. Here, take this. All right, what you got from me, old man? He gave us the Sacred Ash. I believe that's just like a max revive for our whole team. It will completely restore any heal. Okay, so there we have it. It's just going to be one of those healing items. But very cool. It's nice to see that they still have the Kimono Sisters in this game. It's awesome that Pokemon Glaze has actually included these little types of things. I think that's what makes this game really, really special. Now that we've took down the Kimono Sisters, though, we still have quite a bit we need to do here in Ecruteak City. So I wanted to actually take on the gym today. And I feel like we're going to be able to do really well against it. We do have Yami, who will do really good against this gym you guys have left me a lot of tips and comments on what's coming up and i know we could choose different paths today and this is the one i chose so let's go ahead and enter ecruteak city's gym take on its leader morty the mystic seer of the future and let's head inside and see what's going on hey why is it so quiet do you feel a chill in the air here the gym leader morty changed the ghost type his trainers could be hiding anywhere so watch your step it looks like this is going to be a very silent gym so let's go ahead and put yami up in front and we're going to have to explore this place we have a battle So this is actually pretty cool. It looks like, where the heck did I just fall down? Okay, so you can fall down this place. So you might actually want to be a little bit careful as you walk around. Let's take this person on. This is actually quite simple with Yami. Yami's been taking down every... I fell again? I am so bad. I... Okay, I need to stop doing this. I need to just start taking my time. Walking a little bit slower through this path. And hoping that I don't fall as much as I already have. Alright, let's take it real nice and slow here, guys. 
Let's continue going. I think mother fudger. Okay, you gotta take oh my goodness I I just am so bad at walking here. It looks like I can't just you know keep a good step going Let's keep moving through here though. This will be the time we make it ladies and gentlemen I feel good about this one I don't see any battle so far and I'm actually being very careful. There we go battle time Okay, there we go. Let's see where ex Okay, this looks like a dead end. And I fell again. We probably needed this anyways. We probably needed to come back to the beginning of this. Now we need to find the right path because it looks like the path I was heading down was not the right one. So this is a little bit trickier, especially since we don't have flash or a lantern or anything. So we're just going to have to hope that we are headed in the right direction. This looks a little bit better. I don't think we've gone down this path before. So let me go ahead and just heal up our Pokemon then, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple battles before we make our way to Morty, which should be coming right up. There's no way this guy has more than four or five trainers in this gym, but who knows? He might, he might end up adding all those Pokemon trainers. You never know. Here we have another one. Okay, so a frost last was there. We actually haven't seen one of those in a while. And is this the right direction? Have I actually made it? Please don't fall now. Please don't fall now. And there we have it. We've actually made it to Morty. I believe that our team is pretty well off right now. Let's see. We could probably use a Hyper Potion. And I'll go ahead and actually revive Chompy too. Chompy is going to be someone that we are definitely going to need. We need our all our Pokemon with the Dark type moves going into this. That's probably why Yami was a really, really good addition. Because the second gym's already a Ghost type gym. With that, let's go ahead and finish up healing Chompy and. Let's talk to Morty and see what's going on with him. You've done well to make it this far, Challenger. My name's Morty, and I train the mysterious ghost type. Will you be able to face fear itself with eyes open? We shall see. Here we go. Rodri versus Ecruteague City's gym leader, Morty, the ghost type trainer. And I got to tell you guys, I will always like Morty's fashion sense. I've said it once. I've said it before. If there was probably a gym leader that I think looks really cool and that I would look like as a trainer, it would probably be Morty. You know, he just looks really awesome. He's got his purple scarf, and whenever I see someone wearing purple, it's just immediate awesomeness, and I'm just like, yes, that's what it's all about. Now, there we have it with a frost last. Now, this is what I was expecting. Oh, no. Oh, no. This frost last has a tract, and one of the downsides to this is that we do not have any female Pokemon, so we could be a little bit in trouble. And as you guys can see, Frostlass is actually level 58, so all the Pokemon we're going to be battling today are going to be pretty much at our levels, if not a little bit higher. So it is going to be quite a difficult gym. We need to make sure that we perform to the best of our abilities. I can't even switch out because of the shadow tag that Frostlass has, so this is going to be... A very tough one. I would have switched out the Zuko already if I could, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to, so it looks like Yami's really going to have to step this up. Come on, Yami. Snap out of love. Snap out of love, Yami. What are we supposed to do here? Okay, so for now, we're just going to have to hope that Yami wakes up from this love. Can we actually use a lava cookie to heal love? It won't have any effect. Okay, so we can't heal love. I guess that makes a little bit of sense. You can't really heal love. You can't help who you fall in love with, so what can you do? Except this Frostlass kind of made us fall in love with her. So that is a little bit strange. Come on, Yami. Wake up. We need you to wake up. Immobilized by love. Okay. So it looks like Yami is going to be going down this fight. We're going to have to depend on everybody else to step it up because this Pokemon fell in love and we can't switch out. So we are going to be in a little bit of trouble here. But let's go ahead and see if we can bring out Zuko now. Zuko Jr. should be able to take down this Frostlass, and let's hope for the best. The thing is that Morty does have a lot of Pokemon, so it's going to be a much tougher battle. We still are only on the first Pokemon, and we've already lost one, so that goes to show a lot. At least Yami was able to definitely help us quite a bit on our way up to Morty, so that's definitely a bonus. With that guy, super effective, and Frostlass has gone down. Let's see who else is going to be coming out, because we might just keep Zuko out. Sableye, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and keep Zuko out then, and let's see if we can take down the Sableye. If anything, maybe we could even 
pop a couple full restores because I know that these aren't even Morty's strongest Pokemon. The strongest Pokemon are still yet to come. So that's something we need to figure out. You know, another thing I was actually thinking about the other day, because I've been playing a lot on my 2DS, just messing around on it, and I've been thinking recently a lot about games that I've played in the past. As I mentioned to you guys, I was thinking about Pokemon cards and trading cards in general, but I've also been thinking a lot about other games that I used to play as a kid. And you, one of the games that I actually used to play a lot was on my PSP. Now I had a PSP and I had a lot of awesome games on it. I used to do so many crazy things on my PSP. It was really awesome. I think it was a very underrated console and I think it also had some very underrated games. Now one of the games that I really got into, it was back in high school. I didn't have a whole lot going on. I believe it was around winter break, maybe junior year high school or something of that sort. And I remember I was just looking around for good RPGs and games like that that I could play and I stumbled upon Legends of Heroes. Legend of Heroes is a whole kind of little series. It has three or so different games and they each have a bit of a different storyline and I started playing the first one and I gotta tell you guys, it was really, really fun. It was one of those games that really stood out to me and I really connected to the characters. I remember beating the game and I like felt sad. I was like, oh, what happened to the characters now? And I also felt happy that I defeated the adventure. And it was one of those games that I never hear too many people playing or talking about. I introduced it to one friend of mine and he loved them too. He ended up playing them on his PSP and, you know, beating all three of them. And he really, really enjoyed it. So I thought I would just share that with you guys because I feel like all of us at one point or another have played through a very underrated game that we didn't really you know think too much about we kind of just defeated it as kids and it might have touched us in a different way it might have impacted us differently and that's definitely what legend of heroes did for me it really opened me up to more rpgs and from that day i really got more into them and started playing them a bit more so it was a lot of fun there are also a bunch of other underrated games so i'd love to hear from you guys what you guys thought are some underrated games too because i always love hearing these types of games that are a little bit obscure so that i can go back and play them myself and check them out there's a lot of obscure games out there I bet you know how many games there are out there and how many games have been made there are probably so many great games that many people have never even had the chance to play because not many people know about that so it's always cool when we get to share that with each other and get the chance to go ahead and play them that's what I always enjoy whenever somebody tells me a game you know I haven't heard too much about it's always great to go ahead and try it out for myself and see how good it is now I actually didn't expect this Ma Miss Magius to have magical leaf so, we might be in a little bit of trouble. This, oh no, the confuse rate. Okay. This is going to be a much more difficult battle than I expected. I thought that Yami was really going to be able to sweep this gym leader. But I suppose that's not how the cookie crumbles. And it looks like all our other Pokemon are going to have to step up and really cut to the chase here. Now, ooh, this is very, very close. I'm actually nervous for this. There we go. Chompy landed the bite. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good job, Chompy. So at least Miss Magius went down. And whoa, that gives us a little bit of breathing room. Oh no, here comes the Gengar. And this is what I was really worried about. I know that Gengar is an insanely strong Pokemon in this game. And it's going to be very, very difficult to take it down. Since we also obtained the Trade Stone last time, a lot of you guys actually told me that we should add a Haunter to our team and evolve it into a Gengar. I think that's actually really, really cool. But the other thing I'm thinking is that Yami already has moves that are super effective on Ghost types, and we have a lot of types covered. I've actually never really used Ghost Pokemon too much, so it could be really cool to use a Gengar. It's definitely, you know, the Gen 1 Pokemon that I think is the creepiest and it always has some mystery to it. So it'd be a pretty good addition and it'd be pretty cool to add. We just gotta find where exactly the Gengar is and we'll go from there. I definitely do want to add a Pokemon to our team that can use the Trade Stone because I feel like Trade Stone Pokemon aren't really used too often and I would really like to do that. I also feel from what you guys told me that Umbreons are actually a little bit underused as well. So I'm really glad that we actually added it to our team because Umbreon is just such a cool Pokemon. It's one of those Eevees that I've never really used. So it's awesome when I actually get the chance to use it and see you know, what challenges it can face and how good it's going to be. With that though, guys, we took down the Rengar. So, woo, Yami clutched that one out. Last but not least is going to be another Rengar. Let's see what level this one is. This one's level 59. So, the level 60 Rengar was the highest level Pokemon. So, it wasn't that bad. It's going to go for the curse. And we're just going to go ahead and just... Oh, oh my goodness. We should be able to take down this Pokemon with this bite. That should do it. That should do it, guys. And with that, Gengar has gone down. 
So bad move on his part going for the curse because we just KO'd him. Choppy grew to level 59 and we defeated Leader Morty. You bested the stuff of nightmares without a single tremor. You're worthy of the fog badge. We got 2400 for winning, and with that, guys, we have gone ahead and obtained the Fog Badge. That is the second out of eight badges here in the Johto region. Six more to go. Take this token as a remembrance of our battle. We obtained TM30. That should actually be Shadow Ball. So that's a TM that we've actually picked up before. So that's not too great of a TM, Morty. Remember that fear can always be fought and defeated. I actually agree with that. When in battle, psychology can be even more important than strength. If you strike fear into your opponent, your victory is assured. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and jump off of this. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at falling in these gyms. And with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and continue from here next time because we have actually defeated Morty. So we got a lot accomplished today. I still got to figure out about going up those towers. So if you guys have any tips on comments about that, just let me know. Once again, make sure you give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.